teacher's bell. Where learning rings a bell. Good day, everyone! Welcome to Science 3, Revised K-12 Curriculum, Quarter 1, Week 2, Day 5. Manipulating Materials Our learning objective is, by the end of this lesson, learners should be able to engage in guided science activities by manipulating materials. Review What will happen to the clay if I put it in the water? In this lesson, you will perform a simple science investigation that will allow you to design, create, manipulate, and test a floating clay. Lesson language practice. Think, what can you say about the picture? Yes, sink means something goes down to the bottom of water. Examples are spoon, coin, and rock. How about this one? Float. Yes, float means something stays up on top of the water. Examples are wood, plastic bottle, rubber duck. Light things usually float. Heavy things usually sink. But shape also matters. So sometimes a heavy thing can float. Like a sheep. Manipulate means you change something to see what happens. Reading the key idea. Children, have you ever played with a paper boat before? Yes, does it float? Or about to sink? Yes. That depends on how you folded the boat. In this activity, you will make a sample of clay float on water. Doing a science investigation involves 1. Planning 2. Designing 3. Creating 4. Testing Question is, how can we make a floating clay? The materials that we will need are Modeling clay about the size of a ping pong ball Basin with water And paper clips Part A Creating my floating clay 1. Make a sample of clay that floats in water Doing this, you can recall your past experiences seeing objects, insects, plants, boats, and ships floating on water Work with your clay and change its shape Try putting it into the water and observe if it floats or sinks. Do this several times using different shapes. The target of this activity is to create a shape of a clay that will float in water. Guide questions. What does your floating clay look like? Can you describe it? Why does this shape allow it to float on water? Hmm. Let's think about it. Part B. Testing my floating clay. 1. Put in the paper clips one at a time into your floating clay. 2. Count the number of paper clips that it can hold before it sinks. To deepen our understanding, think about the following. How your floating clay would perform if you used marvels instead of paper clips. Hmm. Yes, marbles are heavier than paper clips, so they would make the clay go underwater more quickly. As shown above, what does your floating clay look like? Mm hmm. Yes, the floating clay looks like a little boat, it is flat and wide. Why do you think this shape of the clay lets it float? Because it spreads out on the water and holds air, so it doesn't sink. Why do you think this shape of clay can hold so many paper clips? Yes. 
Yes, the clay is flat and wide, so it spreads out on the water and floats like a boat. Because it floats, it can hold lots of paper clips without sinking. Why is it important to make careful observations when testing the different shapes of clay? Yes, it's important so we can see which clay shapes float or sink and learn why. Why is it helpful to ask questions when designing and testing floating clays? Yes, correct. It helps us think, learn, and make better clay shapes that float. Why is it necessary to manipulate the modeling clay in this activity? It is necessary to change the shape of the modeling clay to see which shapes float. Changing the clay helps us test and learn what works best. Evaluating learning Read and choose the best answer. 1. Which characteristic is most important when making a sample of clay float in water? A. Color B. Hardness C. Roughness D. Shape Yes! D. Shape Which of the following has a similar shape to your floating clay? A. Volleyball B. Diner Plate C. Coffee mug D. Flower vase Yes! B. Diner plate Number 3. In this activity, which floating clay design is considered the best? A. Can stay afloat the longest B. The widest clay that can hold many paper clips C. The most colorful and can hold at least one paper clip. Or D. Can hold the most number of paper clips without sinking. Yes! D. Can hold the most number of paper clips without sinking. 4. Why is it important to try different shapes in creating your floating clay? A. To practice handling a modeling clay. B. To create the best shape that stays afloat. C. To make sure that it can hold one paper clip. D. To know which shapes of clay will sink immediately. Yes. B. To create the best shape that stays afloat. 5. Instead of modeling clay, what other material can you use to make different shapes and create a floating object that can hold paper clips without sinking? A. Bond paper B. Glass jar cover C. Rubber balloon D. Plastic bottle cup Yes! A. Bond paper Congratulations, kids! Great job! Thank you! Please like, subscribe, and follow. Teacher's Bell, where learning rings a bell.